Ethereum is that part of the blockchain network that can do any task you can ask for. Like, it can perform transactions, it can act as a platform to develop and deploy adapts, smart contracts can be created on it, and many more. Every action of the Ethereum network has its own way and method of functioning. That is one of them, which catches people's eyes every time for one or the other reason. So in today's video, we will focus on and explore about Ethereum DApp. Hey everyone, I'm Shamli and I welcome you all to this new video of Simply Learn on Ethereum DApps. In this video, we will explore Ethereum DApp and will go through some of the fascinating concepts and components revolving around it. First, we will understand what are DApps or decentralized applications. Then, we will explore what are smart contracts. Then, we will look into the features of DApps. Then, we will figure out why use Ethereum network for building DApps. Then, we will explore the difference between web applications and decentralized applications. After which, we will understand the benefits of DApps development. Then, we will have a look at the DApps tool. Then, we will explore limitations of DApps development. And at last, we will explore top 5 Ethereum DApps projects. So without any further delay, let's get started with the video. So what are DApps or decentralized applications? Decentralized applications are applications built on open source peer-to-peer -peer network of Ethereum blockchain technology, which uses smart contracts and front-end users interface to create platforms that are launched and streamlined without intermediaries and centralized authorities. In terms of user experience, it appears to be similar to other available web applications, but they have a lot of differences. What are smart contracts? A smart contract is a form of code that lives on the Ethereum blockchain that runs and functions exactly as programmed, quite similar to normal contracts. Once these contracts are deployed on the network, you can't alter them, which means you can't change or modify them. DApps are decentralized because they are controlled only by the logic written in the, into the contract and by not any individual or company, which also means you need to design your contracts very sensibly and carefully. Let's discuss some features of DApps which makes them unique and popular. First is decentralized. This means DApps are independent and cannot be controlled by any centralized authority. Second is Turing complete. DApps can perform any task or action provided by required resources. Third is deterministic. Irrespective of the environment, DApps performs the same function everywhere. And the last one is isolated which means they are executed in the Ethereum virtual machine, a virtual environment, so that if there is any kind of bug in the smart contract, it won't hamper the normal functioning of the Ethereum network. That makes me wonder why Ethereum above all blockchain networks is majorly used for creating DApps. There are several reasons why Ethereum is dominating the majority of DApp development. First, the Ethereum is capable of implementing a development interface that can reduce programming time as well as help in quickly launching the projects. Second, the Ethereum network consists of a remarkably grown developers community since the platform's launch. Third, Ethereum retains tremendous network effects from its global coalition of technologists which continue to pursue the network and actively develop user resources to encourage adoption. And at last but not the least, the ability to monetize DAP projects adequately stimulates the participation of others in the Ethereum network. But what makes DAPs different from other web applications? Let's have a look at the difference between web apps and DAPs. In web application architecture, there is a front-end client and a back-end server. The front-end is majorly written using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And the back-end is written in Django, Node, or Rails. For DApps, the architecture is the same, 
the front end is written in same language as of web applications but for back end blockchain technology like ethereum is used in web apps and dapp they both interact with each other with json messages similar to other applications web app store user information at the company headquarters on a separate server usually however dapps consist of a data created by the users therefore the nodes are used to verify the exchange when a user makes a transaction on the dapp let's have a look at the benefits of dapps first is privacy dapp maintains the privacy or anonymity of the user which means you don't need to provide your any kind of personal information to deploy or interact with the dapp second is complete data integrity data stored on the ethereum blockchain is immutable due to cryptographic primitives no one can forge or manipulate transactions or other data stored in the blockchain network third is verifiable behavior smart contracts can be analyzed and are bound to execute in the directed ways that doesn't need to trust any central authority fourth is zero downtime once the app is deployed on the blockchain the network as a whole will always be able to serve its client looking to interact with the contract of the dapp let's dive down and have a look at the dapp tools rumble ui it's an adaptable components and design standards for decentralized application one click dapp it is a fast tool for generating dapp contents from an api and etherflow it is also a fast tool for ethereum developers to test their node and compose and debug rpc calls from the browser so what, now when we know everything about dapp let's understand the limitations of dapp's development maintaining dapps can be a tough job because code and data published on the blockchain network is very hard to modify to achieve the high levels of security integrity transparency and reliability that ethereum aspires to every node of its network needs to run and store every transaction which leads to huge performance overhead the entire ethereum network gets backed up if a single dapp is using too many computational resources sometimes it may be harder to engineer and configure user friendly experiences sometimes the average user might find it too difficult to set up a tool stack necessary to interact with the blockchain in a truly secure manner now let me take you through the five best ethereum dapps projects make a dao an ethereum based protocol that creates the dai stable coin and allows for collateral backed loans to be made without the use of a middleman uniswap a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange protocol chainlink a blockchain oracle network that is completely decentralized axie infinity a blockchain based trading and battling game that lets its players gather brief raid battle and trade token based entities called axies and last ave an ethereum based decentralized money market that allows users to lend and borrow a variety of crypto assets this is all about ethereum dapp we have almost reached the end of this video if i missed anything important do let me know in the comment section i hope you enjoyed this video on ethereum dapp and learned something new from it if you like this video then please do hit the like button thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and videos from simply learn Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.